Welcome back to Satisfactory guys and today turbo motors we're going to build them today I can just feel it so let's carry on from the last episode we'll start rooting this copper all the way back to where we're going to make it and let's get the parts made for the turbo engines and there's another slug right in front of us I'm not even looking for these things they just seem to be everywhere you do have to pay a heavy price because there's like creatures everywhere as well that you have to kill And see what I mean about a heavy price just for a green slug that's protected by a boss spider. Yeah, not impressed with that. Yeah, let's get the old dynamite out and let's get this thing blown to bits. Where's he gone? Yep, there he is. Finally, I timed that one to perfection. It took a good five or six bits of dynamite to blow this guy up. Eventually, he got stuck on that little, um, what is this? Mycelia stalk thing. We'll get the slug and let's carry on getting these belts built. I was just about to say we're at the gas fields and let's figure out a way around these above them and another spider turns up. Luckily this time it's just a baby one. Oh, dynamite. And in the gas fields, can you believe what I found? Big Dave's evil twin brother, the gas spew and spider. The green these things, look at them. Let's kill this guy. I wonder if you get more um, bits of meat for it. Come on, this guy just won't die. I must have hit him five times. Six times, it's a charm. Let's see how many meat you get. Well, you get five. I think that is more than normal, isn't it? It should be. That thing is a right pain to kill. Right, let's get back to rooting the belt. This thing is taking way too long. And in case you think I'm exaggerating, squadron of bait creatures, and aircraft fire from the fire spear and dog. And we're in the middle of a gas field. Yet yeah, this place is seriously hardcore. Right, finally I got the belt through. Three gas fields, several boss spiders, several fire dogs. Oh, the list was absolutely endless. I thought this would be the straightest route to get here. You know what, I should have just went all the way around the outside. Took half the hassle away. This took way too long. So let's put the foundations and get this factory built. Finally, the copper ore and the iron ore, they're both coming to the factory now. So let's put the smelters down and get all the ingots made. The iron ore is a flown, being made out of ingots and... Ooh, I better put that floor back in, hadn't I? I'll end up falling through that. Right. We need to put the roof on and then put the belts going to the outline. And... Ooh, do we put the ingots on this level or the next one? I'm undecided here. I've decided just to make the copper ingots on the same level as the iron ingots. I figured out we can do them right below them if I can do this right. We're not stuck for space really. I just wanted to see if I could do it. So put the lift up and then we need to put down some constructors. We'll make, yeah, what are we making here? We need rods. Make that into screws. And then on the next floor we'll have to make wires and put them into cables. We're rattling along at a good rate of knots here. I'm so used to building these I can nearly do them in my head. I see all the angles pretty quickly here. And yeah, let's delete all them. We'll go to the next floor. We'll make the cables and also the copper sheets. I totally forgot we need them as well. But 
the lift up for the ingots for the copper and then we'll make the wires make the cables and then make the copper sheet then we've got to get the belts all the way back to the crystal oscillator factory then we'll put them under the trains and then that will get shipped to what will be the turbo motors factory see what i mean about this this whole turbo motors recipe it is massive you need so many different components just to get one thing made Actually, for the first time in a long time, I'm going to put hyper tubes down. I've run up and down the sort of road mountain area at least a dozen times, going back to the factory, trying to figure stuff out. Oh, there's a plant there. We need to kill that thing. Let's get the dynamite out. And as I was saying, it is at least a dozen times, and I'm sick of doing it. So since I'm putting the belts in for the transport of the materials anyway, let's stick a hyper tube on top of it. Right, can we get across this gap in one go? I hope so. Since the hypertube's now finished, let's have a quick ride back to base because I've got to go back to main base to get some more parts. Oh, I am sick of running out of stuff. After this is built, we still have to sort out three of the things. We need rubber, the cooling systems, and some aluminium delivering here as well. I'm slightly worried about the rubber factory. I may have to rebuild that because it was only a temporary thing when I built it and now it's kind of struggling with that rubbish crappy temporary design I did. So I get a feeling I might have to quickly rebuild that. Again, we need aluminium casings. That's another problem because the size of the aluminium factory, it's kind of confined by the stone root things. So oh, do I move and rebuild that as well? These things are running through my mind or can I somehow just fit another station in there? I hope I can. Right, all the belts are now done. The copper sheets, the cables and the screws are coming here. The crystal oscillator is coming here. So this train hopefully will deliver all four parts to the turbo motor factory. The ride itself, it's not very long. It'll probably be less than a minute. But I could have belted this over, but I thought, why not? Let's do it all by train. The only thing that worries me, it's the points, the junctions. This is where if anything's going to go wrong, it will go wrong. That looks all right. And we'll check the other one. Slowing down, that's a good sign. And that turns as well. And does it go at the right station, number one? And it does. Seems to deliver and fall out of parts. Now let's get the belts into this, send it upstairs, and we'll start making the computers. Ah, I got a little bit ahead of myself there. I missed out on a crucial step. We need to make circuit boards first before we send everything to the manufacturer to make the computer parts. So let's build them next. So let's put down, what, five assemblers probably? And if by magic, problem solved there. I did build six assemblers in the end. Copper sheets, plastic, voila. We're now making circuit boards. So let's delete this uh, manufacturer. We'll start putting down the manufacturers for the computers. I'm thinking let's put down two manufacturers that should make more than enough parts for the radio control units Put the last of the belts in and that should be that would we'll delete all these splitters Is that looking good? I think most of that's done now Yep, there's the screws coming and there's the cables coming up the plastics already coming around and so is the EIs and there we go Yes we're making computers. This is the third computer factory I've built on this map. If I did my time again, I think I'd just do one super computer factory. Everything get delivered by train, just one. Yeah, hindsight's a great thing, isn't it? And hopefully we're just gonna build one more floor for the radio control units and the turbo motors, and that'll be it. Well, we do have to sort out some other stuff as well. But essentially, this is as big as the factory's gonna get.
We're here at last, the final floor of the worst recipe in the game, I think. I do have nuclear powder sort of next. We'll, we'll not worry about that for now. We're going with it. This is the worst recipe in the game. Uh, let's get this wired up. We're probably going to have to put down, what, two manufacturers for the radio control units, then one for the turbo motors. Right, we're 33% of the way there. The lifts, the belts for the computers are now coming to the radio control units. We can put the crystal oscillators in as well. Then the aluminium casings, we're going to have to sort that out at the aluminium factory. I'm hopeful with a bit of jiggery pokery we can stick another station in there somehow. Put this lift in and that should be crystal oscillators going to... Yep, it is, look. We're 66% of the way there. Oh, I'm getting excited. Right, we've got to figure out the aluminium factory now. Ah, not looking forward to this one, the rubber factory, right. I built this in a hurry because we desperately in need of rubber for, what was it, the ammo in the bomb factory. So now let's totally rebuild this thing, make it fit for purpose. So first off, we're going to just pull the whole thing down. Um, that main line, I think I'm going to raise that slightly because I'd like to get the whole thing above this plant, which is really annoying me. Oh, I've made a start to this. I should have just pulled this down. I talked myself out of it, and now I'm totally regretting it. Uh, what I've done is I've pulled one of the stations down. The other one, it's still running. It's still attached to the main line. And I'm trying to... I've raised it slightly. Then I'm just trying to build the whole thing from here. The track itself, I think I've got the line just about right. You can see the height difference from the old station to the new. Um, hmm... Yeah, I'm happy with that height. The main line is a lot more to the left than the original. You can see it there, just to the right of us. But luckily, it's, it's working so far. I'm keeping the main line running. I'm starting to replace this now. And I've moved the whole station even further right than I had before. This is looking a lot better. We've got a lot more room to play with. I'm not sure if that's exactly the right place for the station just yet. Because we're going to need, I think, in three stations. One for the heavy frame factory, one for the bomb and bullet factory, and one for the turbo engines factory. So we definitely need three stations. I'm hoping to get two stations on one line. That's the plan anyway. And there's no turn back now. The main line, it's now been disconnected. This is now the new main line. The curve itself I'm happy with. The actual rise in the track I'm not so happy. It dips down slightly. Um, hmm. We need to rise this section of track just slightly. Just so the curve looks more natural. And we must build the other station as quick as we can. Because I want to get the trains running. Finally the other stations is going in now. The original station is actually still there. <laughs> I will knock that down at some point. It's kind of starting to feel like we're actually getting somewhere at last. Starting knocking down the old station. I put lines in for the rubber, temporary lines anyway, from the old refineries. So now the station's actually being used properly. Let's delete all this track, all these foundations. And we can actually have a good look to see where we're at. Yeah, on reflection, I should have just pulled the whole thing down and just bit the bullet. Some of the factories don't work. But no, I've tried to keep it, keep the whole thing running if I could. And it's taken twice as long as what it should. The old refinery, it's still running there. The stations are supplying with rubber. It is working, 
but yeah, on reflection, I should not have done it like that. Anyway, forget about it now. This is the floor for the new refinery now. You can see the distance away from it. It's, it's a bit of a junk, so we've got a lot more room to play with. This refinery, it's going to be a decent size. We'll run all four of the oil nodes. Um, I'm not sure how many refineries right now. Maybe 15, 20-ish, something like that. Just enough to supply all, what, three factories we needed for? I've just remembered a couple of these refineries, they're going to have to run plastic. I forgot I'm actually supplying my main base with plastic. Because obviously, T2 pipes, you need plastic and copper. So, unless I tap it into one of the computer factories and get a supply from there, we're going to have to figure this into the design somehow. Get a bit of plastic along with all the rubber. Yeah, let's find the other two oil nodes and, um, ow, that hurt. Note to sell, put down more power poles so I don't die. <laughs> right, stick down these oil extractors. Uh, the whole refinery was just running on one oil extractor. I totally forgot I just used one, one twenties and what's the other one here? Ooh, 240, that one's really nice, isn't it? So let's put the pipework in for them to oil extractors and oh yeah let's put that pylon in as well for the railway line since we're here. All the wiring for the refineries, it's now all done. Let's put down a few poles then we'll start getting the pipework in. Then you never know we actually start making make some rubber and plastic here. Now most of the pipes are all wired up inside the refinery. We just need to get the main line sorted here. So we've got two pipes coming from the right. I might just merge this into one pipe because we have two oil extractors to the left as well. I do have three pipes going in. I'm unsure. Do I use all three? What do you think, guys? I've just decided to have the three pipes, so we'll merge these two into the one pipe. Yeah, we need a couple of pumps because the pump pressure. It's pretty rubbish for some reason. I don't know if it's just this little extra distance travel. It's not as good. Never mind. Hopefully it'll be okay now. Most of the pipe work seems to be done. And we should be able to switch off the old refinery pretty soon. Oh, this junction I'm getting super frustrated with it for some reason it's not working and I've replaced the line and it's still not working so what I'm going to do is I'm going to split these points into two different sections one section for the actual stations and the other section for splitting off into the main line hopefully just that one little section of track so I'll split the points into two hopefully this will fix the whole thing because at the moment a lot of the trains are going all the way around the other side of the map instead of taking this little loop to the left. And it's the only thing I can think of. Oh, last! it seems to have taken an eternity. This It is a good few hours. Finally, all the refineries, they're all working now. So let's get the belts sorted, get them sent upstairs to the stations, then we can delete the old refinery, then get them with other stuff. We've still got loads to do today. I definitely want to get that turbo engine factory going. To achieve that, we've got a couple of little things we have to do. We need to sort out the station at the aluminium factory for the aluminium casings, and also we need motors. This totally slipped my mind. So we either build a new motor factory, which no, I do not want to do that. So the only other option is we've got to put a station at the motor factory. Hopefully, we'll have enough space to do that. Fingers crossed, guys. Why, why, why do I start these jobs? Anyway, three hours later, it is all done. I put a couple of power lines in just around the roof area, so I can still fly around if I want to change anything. We've got plenty of room to play with now, so if we have to mess about with these stations, extend them maybe, in case we have to put some more like little stations in just to pick up rubber, plastic, whatever from here, it can be done. So let's start worrying about next jobs. The next job we're going to tackle the heavy frame factory. Now you're going to say, why is he doing that? That's got nothing to do with turbo engines. And you'd be totally right. 
but this whole factory it's been bugging me for such a long time and we're in this area so you know what I'm gonna tackle it today so all the list of jobs we've got to do is we've got to double production this whole factory so we're gonna to have to extend it maybe two three floors maybe and I'm gonna set it out slightly different so everything's on its own floor like I used to do because I'm worried I may extend production even again and we'll also the fuse frame factory that's going to be on the roof because the other factory that really bugged me ever since I built it I did not like it it made the place look untidy so quickly I'll build this whole thing we'll get it knocked out of the way and then we'll get back to the table engines factory After a Herculean effort, the whole factory, it's been rebuilt. Yes, it was that quick. No, it was not that quick. It was a good three to four hours. But it's done now anyway, so let's not worry at all about it. We've now double production on the heavy frames we're now making four per minute. So we'll send two of these downstairs to the trains. Eventually that'll go to storage. The other two, they'll be sent here to the blender and that'll make the fuse frames. I've quickly laid this station down at the motor factory. I'm not sure if I like it yet, guys. I'm not sure at all. I couldn't put it under this, the actual factory itself, unfortunately, because the miners are already there and we just didn't have the height to play with. The only thing I could do, if I desperately wanted to do with that, probably take the bottom floor off the factory and extend it all by one level. I could do that at some point. You know what I'm like. I do like everything nice and tidy. But in the meantime, to get the turbo factory running, we'll stick the station here. I'm hoping to get everything on one train going to the turbo factory because we need motors, we need uh, aluminium casings, we need the cooling systems and we need rubber. If I can do this right, one train will supply all four things to that factory. Fingers crossed. We've now got motors running into the actual freight terminal itself. The line's all wired up. So this looks just about done. I just need to tidy it up. Later on I'll do all the pylons, make everything look pretty, and then hopefully I can live with it. I'm still not happy. Ooh, why can't I be happy? Right, here we go. Let's see if this will work. I've done a little bit of jiggery-pokery up here in the aluminium factory. I've now put a little station right at the end. I've had to pull the back end of the factory off, so I'll have to extend this a little bit to make this all nice again, but hopefully this will work. So this is the first stop. It's picking up the aluminium casings. This is working. Yes! One down, three to go. And here we are, the motor factory. Stop number two on the list. It should now load the motors onto car number four. And it seems to be doing that. Oh, wow. Could we have this? Yes, there we go. It is working. Right. 50% of the way there. Two stops to go. Fingers crossed. <laughs> So after messing about with a lot of the track, the stations around the sort of area, I have added a third station to the heavy frame factory. I've added two stations here now. So on this one, we're picking up, well, we're picking up cooling systems here we go. This should be car number three, I think, if I've got it right. Yep, I have got it right. Fantastic. Oh, three down, one to go. And finally, last stop for the pickups, it's now at the rubber factory. I've redesigned this again slightly. I moved the actual stations a little bit further forward again, just so I can fit this back end station in to fill up this, this specific train with rubber. It's loading out of car number two, that's working. Right, now we just drive another loop around again. It's the only way I can figure out how to do this, and we'll go to the turbo motor factory. Here we are, table motor factory, this should go into station number three, which it's doing. We'll unload all this cargo, and now 
we have everything we need to make table motors can you believe it the round trip for this train it is quite a lot but luckily we're not making that many table motors so we can actually take a hit on the old time is that unloading if i set this up right it is phew heart and mouth moment there right let's build the rest of this factory and make some table motors Most of the factory, it's virtually built, isn't it guys? We did it all before. We just need to add a few little things here. So we'll put some belts in. I think just two windows of two to get all the parts upstairs. Right, can we get past this pipe with these belts? Hopefully we can. Oh man, it'll not go that far. Right, we're gonna have to put another window section in just to join to that. Then we'll join it to the outside wall. I did manage to get the belts past that pipe okay. So now I've just put the lifts in. We'll go to this floor, put four more lifts into here, and then onto the top floor. Then hopefully we'll start making the radio control units next. If you remember previously, we've got the crystal oscillators, the computers, they're already up here. So now we just need the aluminium casings. Um, is that level? I think that's level. Put a belt on. Then hopefully that's the aluminium casings coming up. It is. Right, let's check the assembler. And yes. We're making radio control units. It's a win. Right. Next up, let's put down another assembler and let's start making the turbo motors themselves. Oh, this is a Herculean effort. If you guys believe me now, this is the worst recipe in the game. Just adding the final touches now to the second assembler for the... Which one is it? Radio control units. Oh my brain, it's totally bonified to this recipe. Uh, let's put the lifts in. The table motors need 3.75 radio control units per minute. So two of these together, that'll make us four. So we're well over that then, then aren't we? there and that should be it there we go we're making five radio control units a minute which is a lot more than we need we only need 1.8 at last the last assembler is down for the table motors right we just need to wire this thing up uh, what do we need radio control units coming from the two machines right in front of us and then the two lifts bringing the other parts up. Oh, we're in sight. It's sheer relief now at this stage. <laughs> and last jobs now. The belts are wired in. Now we just need the lifts for the motors, the cooling systems and the rubber. Then hopefully this machine will chug into life and we'll start making turbo motors. Yeah, I'm having to put a little bit of a belt in for some reason. These lifts, they're just slightly too far away from the machine. I could move the machine forward, but you know, I'm at the stage where now I pass care of it. I just want this thing to work. <laughs> I did stick a few motors in just to make sure this thing works. And let's put the motor lift in and it's feeding it nicely. Please check. And there we go. Oh, wow. Guys, I don't believe it. We're actually making table motors. Can you believe it? I seriously can't. What have we got left to do? Well, we need to send a belt downstairs. We've actually got to build the station, send that all the way back to base, because I don't want to keep coming here every five minutes just to collect table motors. The station, I've just finished building that. I put the lift in, and now this is the final belt. The table motors have now go to the station, which can be sent to main base into storage. Yes, the final big recipe thing it's all finished now so guys i think i'm gonna leave it there i'm absolutely exhausted we've done so much today heavy frames factory rubber factory turbo motors and then some thanks for watching guys please like comment subscribe all that good stuff and if i can recover i will see you next time for some more satisfactory bye for now guys